Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Codexual, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own custom RTMP server on a Windows environment. I've showed this method before, but on a Linux environment with Ubuntu. So if you don't know what a RTMP server is, uh, basically it's a streaming services. So what the goal of this video is to set up a RTMP server on your Windows machine to stream out towards a, another services. So basically what I am trying to get at is if you ever heard of Joycaster, here's an illustration, or there's also Restream. So these are wonderful services, but I'm going to get to the cons about these services here in a second. So in this illustration, here is you, the broadcaster that's streaming out to their services or in this case example, um, your Windows RTMP private server, and it's streaming out to YouTube, to Twitch, to Facebook, to Mixer, to uh, VK, Periscope, and here's just a same, they're both the same services. Here's you um, and Joycaster, or the, you know, the RTMP server that we're setting up and streaming out to YouTube, Periscope, and Facebook Live. So they're wonderful services and I personally use them both. However, I've came to discover if you use the services, um, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, they don't like you using these services because you are providing content on their competitors, um, on their competitor, excuse me, towards their competitors and they want exclusive content. So, if they see that you're using this and they can check on the type of connections, these companies weren't born yesterday. They have software developers and they know very well what's in, within the community. They're, they're not stupid. So what they do is they're going to not feature you or they're just going to bury you within the feeds of more people or they're just not even going to make have any. Um, you won't be able to be discovered so easily. So if you stream from exclusively, so f without using these services and you're just streaming from your own connection, basically you're kind of beating this. So they have connections out. So I can go on with another video and tell everything about it. So anyways, what we're going to do is going to set up our own restream or our own Joycaster services. So here's the windows and whatnot. And if you guys can do me one big old favor is to go ahead and subscribe towards the channel. If you haven't, I uh, hit the post notifications every time that I live stream, feel free to come through or even ask me tactical questions. That's what I'm here for. I love and enjoy helping people out um, to the best of my knowledge. And um, I do other things as well. So just view the description if you want to follow me on all my other channels. So let's get to the point. What we want to do is create a folder and I put it in the C drive. You guys can put the uh, folder wherever you want on your desktop. So IG, INX, NX. Um, and we're going to drag and drop this into the IG, INX folder everything you will need will be listed in the description once again the script here uh the downloads i need to give you guys a fair 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 warning and it's really recommended that you need to download the microsoft visual c 2010 okay so you need to download the 32-bit and the 64-bit so even though that you might have downloaded a new version and if it doesn't work out for you just download this and it'll prompt up option with a repair. Just go ahead and repair it. Then uh, you'll be good. Then I'm using notepad for the editor and this is the IGNX version that we're using. So I recommend downloading this version. Um, what we want to do next is go to our comp folder and we're going to make a copy of this. So basically we're going to um, drag and drop this in basically and it'll bring up into their script. And we're gonna scroll all the way down and paste this script that we have right in. So, um, if you are not using a web server, this is for a little bit advanced users. If you are not using a web server, then don't worry about this. But if you are using a web server, um, <clears throat> this will conflict with your web server because it's running on port 80. So it's either that you can run it on port 8080 or in a different port, or you can just remove this entire HTTP block 
out and it'll be um, right on this line. Just go ahead and remove that out and you'll be fine. Um, if you're trying to make a server out of this and trying to like put it on your VPS or dedicated server, just make sure that you have that port forwarded or if you're running this on your machine and you just want to have a friend connect to it, just make sure you port forward the 1935. I'll have a link in the description if you don't know how to port forward. Um, this right here, is what we need to talk about. So if you want to stream out to multiple services, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, Periscope, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is for each streaming site that you're going to be connecting to, you're going to be modifying these lines. So it's going to be the RTMP and the URL. Then after that, it's going to be slash and the stream key. So for example, if I were to go towards my uh, YouTube here, bring that on over and I scroll down and I want my RTMP stream key and paste that right in right there. Then after that, we're going to hit slash and put in the stream key, which I'm going to do. So um, I don't want to show my stream key. So I'm going to move this towards the right and I'm going to save it. So let me get the stream key here. Uh, reveal stream key, entering that in, enter that in. And I'm going to save it and make sure you end it with a semicolon. That is very important. So always end it with a semicolon. So if you're going to enter um, within multiple sites. Additionally, you need to make sure that you have the upload bandwidth. So if you're using a bit rate, um, if we go towards our OBS here and you can use XSplit or um, Streamlabs OBS, um, if you're using uh, multiple services and you whatever your bitrate is, you're going to make sure you go to speedtest.net and use your bandwidth. So if we were to, um, if your upload speed was, is like 12 megabytes per second, then basically, and if you're streaming on four sites, then you'll definitely be fine. So um, bitrate is that equals 2.5 megabytes per second. If you're using a bitrate of 4,000, then um, it'll be 4.0 megabytes per second. So make sure that you have the bandwidth with your upload speed or else you're gonna be lagging, especially if you're playing multiplayer. Um, so just make sure that you customize your bitrate correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and um, move on over towards the stream here. And basically I've already put in my uh, URL. So how do we find out what our IP is? Basically, all you have to do is type in, just type in this, our, our TMP colon slash slash. So 127.0.0.1 slash live whatever your stream key is just it doesn't matter you can just spam it with that you'll be fine so this is if you're running it locally or if you're running it on another machine on your local network you know go to ip or we're gonna go to command prop and type in ip config let me type that in and there's some stuff that i don't want to show okay so my IPv4 would be 10.0.0.94, and I'll just replace that with the 10.0.94, either or. So if you're running it from another local machine, but however, we're locally, we're running it on local host here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit apply, hit okay. And we can go ahead and close out of that. What we want to do is we're going to run the servers service here. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna run the IGNX. And if I hit refresh, nothing pops up. Again, it's also a web server. So we're going to run that. Let's run it as administrator. And if I did everything correctly, uh, it should be popping up with the task manager. Should be. IGNX. Uh, because it also disappears. 
Okay, however, I did not do something correctly. Let me go look at my config folder. Let me cut out the RTMP server real quick. The snippet. Okay, so that's not popping up for whatever reason. Oh, is it because... No, it's still running on port 80. Oh, that's where I did it wrong. Okay, so basically, you need to make sure that whatever you just edit is to save it as a config file alone. So basically, it needs to be ignx.config. That's where I made my uh, mistake. And now we're gonna go ahead and move this towards the right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run this command. Now it should be running. It is. Okay, so that was my mistake. You wanna make sure that you have the, we're, you edit the win, so the ignx.config, excuse me. Um, I have a speech impediment. The ignx-win.config, edit that, and also make sure you save it as the ignx.config. Now that we have already um, did the settings here, set up our stream, um, let's go ahead and actually start streaming out. Gonna make sure that I'm on private here, uh, private, yep. So I just don't wanna alert everybody with a notification that I'm going live, um, start streaming. And it's actually sending out that bit rate and we're live. We're good, we're golden. We're good, we're good, we're good. So yeah, that's how you set up a um, private server with IGNX, IGNX. Go ahead and hit enter and uh, yeah, we're good, man. So it's streaming out to YouTube. If you, again, if you wanna stream out to multiple services, it's highly important that you have the upload speed, the bandwidth for that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, smash the like button again, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or any of that sort, uh, feel free to um, hit me up and I hope to see you guys soon. You guys take care. Yeah, I'm back on my shit again Chasing Benjamins, trying to tell the very end Yeah, every day I'm feeling great Better than the day before and you can see it on my face Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake As long as you can see me, I ain't worried about a thing